Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play As Tears Go By, as recorded by the Rolling Stones on guitar. Now there's two sections you need to know to be able to play this song, and we're going to start out by just going through the chords that are used, and then I'm going to show you a more note-for-note -note arpeggio picking style that's used throughout this song. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something right away for spending some time with me today. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack and these are some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel and they're just going to make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play As Tears Go By as recorded by the Rolling Stones on guitar. Now we're going to start off with the A section or the first part we're going to learn and it's two bars of music that are just repeated over and over. Now I'll show you the chords first and then we'll talk more about this note for note arpeggio picking part. So we're gonna start on a G chord and I'm gonna play just a very simple G here. I'm gonna use just two fingers. I use my middle finger on the third fret of the low E and then my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna be arpeggio picking this. So a lot of times if I'm not picking, like I'm not gonna pick the fifth string or the first string in this part, so I'll just play a smaller version of the chord because I don't need to hold down all those extra notes. Then from there, we're gonna to go to an A chord. And that's gonna be just my index finger playing here, one finger A chord playing from the fifth string down, open, two, two, two. I'm muting that high E, and I'm not gonna play the low E. Then I'll go to a typical C chord here. From the fifth string down, three, two, open, one, open. And then a D from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. So those are the chords. Now they're gonna move two beats each. So I'm gonna go one, two, then to A, then to C, two, then D. Okay, that's our progression. One and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So that's the easy way. You could just go through that part and just strum the chords. Now, if you want to be a little bit more like the recording, you could try this. Okay, so this is what we call arpeggio picking. And this is where we're picking individual notes of the chord instead of strumming it. So we're gonna start by walking in to that G chord. So I'm gonna play the second fret on the sixth string and then go to that root note. Now the main rule I would say with this technique is you can mix up the pattern and you could really play whatever you want but you wanna make sure that you put the root note on the downbeat of like when the chord changes. So like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... So you'll hear that in the part like... Right? Okay, so it's always kind of marking the chord changing. So that's gonna go... Here it is slowly. Okay, so that's 1E and a 2E and a... Again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the tab. Then three E and a four E and a. Okay, so that's the open A string. And you sort of back pedal through the A chord. Then you reach up and you add, I add my ring finger to the third fret. But what we're doing is getting what's called an A sus chord. So here's the A and then the A sus in there. So then back to the A root note, then go to the C chord. A 
Okay, so that's a very common folk embellishment. Like players will take a C chord and hammer in or just play the open fourth string to the second fret in that C chord. Okay, so that's one E and a two E and a, then three E and a, four E and a. Okay, that on the D chord there I'm going. Then a hammer on. That's another cool folk embellishment. Okay, so all together, it's three E and a, four E and a, one. Now you can start to mix in, you know, some different notes. Don't worry if, if you hit a different string or whatever. Keith, he mixes it up all the time. So as I said, the main thing is making sure that you mark those root notes as the chords change. So sort of playing in the style might sound like this. So I'm playing, a, you know, a very different part, but it still gets the same kind of feel, right? Again, making sure that, that the chord changes are right. If the chord changes are right, it's, it's gonna sound like the tune, okay? Now, you wanna continue that basically through the entire song. Now there's one other part we're gonna cover and that's the B section, and that goes like this. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Back to the first part, right? So for this part, we're gonna play four bars. We're gonna play C to D in the first bar, and that's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Then we do this walk down G, G over F sharp, E minor, then E minor over D. And what it is is da, 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 da. the bass is just walking down the scale. Listen to the bass. And it goes to the C for a bar, three E and a four E and a, then D for a bar, and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Then you're back to the first part. Congrats on making it through this as tears go by guitar lesson. Be sure to take it slow and work out each part. Again, just start with the chords and then start to mix in more arpeggio picking. And I wanted to give a shout out here to Roger who requested this song on the channel. And he's also a member of my website, which I really appreciate the support. So thanks for this awesome song request and for supporting the lessons here on the channel. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below and this is going to make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. Also let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another lesson real soon.